it's Anna here welcome in my next video this one is made for Cocoa Vanilla Studio and this week we are having a scrap leaf theme uh, at our little uh, design team and uh, I chose this beautiful layout created by Emma Woods I know it doesn't have the square shape as I usually do but oh my god look at those colorful circles uh, at the background when I saw this page I was like oh my god I need to make my own version of it and I am going to thanks to the scrap lift week and I chose this picture of my daughter Gabrysia and I will also be scrapping with the newest collection called more than words and I uh, chose this paper just like Emma did for my mixed media but I will be creating a uh, uh, 12 by 12 layout so I will add uh, her type of layout I think she's making a little bit smaller sizes than 12 by 9 I would say maybe 8 by 6 I'm just guessing but um, but I think that uh, they are smaller than uh, 9 by 12 so I will create about 6 by 8 page and I will glue it down to this beautiful paper I love these flowers and I will be inspired by uh, the colors in these floral clusters I will not make such a vivid layout as Emma did and, <clears throat> and that's it <laughs> um, let me uh, show you what I will going what I'm going to do in the fast forward and I am back and it's time to start uh, making a layout I am going to use those so perfect words they are from chipboard uh, stickers with uh, words from more than words collection uh, the previous collection had similar stickers but in white and those are like those chalky black uh, letters they are not those deep black so they really look pretty and I am building my composition as I said I will use the same paper uh, to uh, create circles as Emma did and I will place it over the 12 by 12 paper but it won't be though it won't be this one with flowers I will change my mind after uh, my uh, busy busy mix media part will be ready and I went downstairs to my kitchen to bring some circular uh, items I chose this glass and uh, some of the cups I think they are cups from my uh, recycling <laughs> uh, recycling uh, baskets as they have different diameters that's why I am trying to uh, change the sizes of the circles and as you can see I am placing the pink uh, paper sheet that I will be uh, adding in the same place so I will not uh, add too much of the circles uh, behind it because they won't be visible and now it's time to uh, prepare my paints uh, I don't have a lot of acrylic paints I do have some for my uh, classes that I sometimes uh, lead but I do not use them often that's why I need to mix the colors that will match and first I was going to create the pastel uh, look uh, so it would match this uh, paper with flowers but in the end I ended uh, with similar colors like Emma's did and that's why I had to change my background I am using uh, the mint paint uh, this one is from Vicky Boutin's uh, collection called um, the first <laughs> Vicky Boutin collection they come in sets and it was set of four colors four cold colors this mint one this blue one and I mixed the blue and mint to create the perfect shade of blue I needed and now I am painting uh, just the areas um, of the circles uh, where I want my blue to uh, appear and as you can see I am trying to scatter uh, the color around the page I don't want the, all the blue areas to be in the one side uh, the yellow paint is the I think Dina Wakely paint 
Uh, I recently got it in my hip kit uh, in February and I added a little bit of white paint to it because I want it to look more pastel and when it comes to pink color it's just, it's just a total mixture of um, the pink color I have I think from Amsterdam I don't remember the name in this big tube and a little bit of red to change the shade of pink and a lot of white uh, acrylic paint to make it uh, more pastel looking so this is something I usually do when I'm working with um, acrylic paints I mix colors a lot because I usually don't have the purple shade and I do not buy a lot of them uh, to have all the shades I need um, and some of the paints are not that opaque uh, I would like them to be that's why I mixed white into them and now I dried my brush and I dipped it into the page to create those brush strokes and my uh, paint is done it uh, dries really fast so I can start applying the black circles that I like Emma did. I am not sure if she did it in the same way, uh, probably not, uh, but uh, this is how I am going to do this. So I'm just painting uh, over the... Oh, sorry, it's late when I'm recording this voiceover. I'm just painting uh, the edge of the glass with the black uh, acrylic paint and I'm stamping with it. You can do this uh, in every color, you don't have to use black. Uh, and I really, really like this idea. I did something like that with white paint many, many years ago on the layout and I love the effect. And I think I have to go back to... Uh, to this simple stuff like that <laughs> so we are playing like children in kindergarten so I am moving from the biggest uh, diameter to the smaller diameter the uh, press-ons I think they don't have to be perfect don't have to be aligned exactly around the colors because the colorful circles aren't perfect either so it's just uh, just playing with colors and uh, and and circles and now uh, I am done with the coloring I dried my uh, my piece of layout and I thought it is a little bit too dark that's why I am applying a little bit of white paint here and there I think Emma did the same but I'm not sure in which um, in which order if she made it previously before stamping the black uh, elements or after that I am not sure but I needed to light it up and uh, it's already dry and as you can see I was going to use this uh, floral pattern but then I placed my very colorful circles and I thought no it doesn't match and for a second I thought maybe I will use a white cardstock but I really like this artsy look of the pink uh, background and as you can see I just uh, <laughs> stained my pink uh, sheet of paper so I rotated it to hide it uh, below under my uh, picture and I'm adding uh, pieces of cardboard to add dimension between the layers this is something what I always do and I always say that I'm always doing it so if you watch my videos uh, from time to time you probably know that and I sew around this um, mixed media element but it was horrible experience because uh, the painted areas were sticky and my sewing machine didn't want to sew through them it was uh, the thread was constantly broken I'm not sure how to say it in English but yeah it, it wasn't easy and I wouldn't <laughs> do it uh, again but Emma has the stitchings also so I have to be very precise and my mm, my main elements of the composition I are glued down so it's time to add a title uh, the title was chosen previously it will be so perfect but I need to poke, poke out those uh, 
inner parts of E and uh, I'm not sure of E's, yes, uh, I don't want uh, them to be filled with black cardboard. I glued down the title and I was tempted tempted to sue for it but then I thought no remember what happened with the paint and now it's time to embellish Emma added a, a journaling above the picture uh, using uh, I think using a typewriting machine I have one but it's broken and I'm too lazy to <laughs> type the journaling I usually add it behind my layout so no one can see uh, what's written in here and I will uh, mimic uh, the journaling that Emma did by adding the stickers uh, with words and I also chose some ephemera pieces uh, from uh, More Than Words collection uh, and I'm going to use some of them, not all of them. Uh, I am not sure which one I will use on this in this stage but I chose all that could match my page. This is something I always do. I pick elements that would be possible over this particular page and then I just play with them and if I didn't use something, I just put it away. And those are the words I was talking about. And I'm going to mimic uh, the MS journaling with them. Uh, they are from the sticker sheet from More Than Words collection, but almost every collection by Coca Vanilla Studio has similar ones. So you can uh, easily uh, add some simple journaling thanks to that and they all they are not always the same the font is changing the shade of color is changing so uh, you can easily mix and match them and this is just the basic words like sweet you're adorable and stuff like that so every word uh, that is written in here matches the description of my daughter perfectly <coughs> and now it's time to glue things down and put uh, the layout together. I chose this, my darling, a uh, piece of ephemera. I also added, uh, I am adding right now the tabs uh, from, um, from the ephemera part. And now it's time to add black hearts. They are from the cardboard stickers that I used for my title. And Emma also added some um some uh, hearts so <laughs> i am a true true fan and a great copycat when it comes to that so i had to do uh, almost everything like she did because i love this layout so so much and that i even uh, considered uh, making it uh, 9 by 12 and uh, i also stamped a date uh, this is my resolution from this year to add more dates, more journaling over my page. So it won't be only pretty images, but also uh, recording the memories. And here is the finished page. I hope you liked uh, my process video. If so, leave thumbs up. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in comments. I always answer the comments. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.